we're going to revisit now a case with that was familiar in one dimension, one which we have an acceleration, but it's a constant. In one dimension, the equations of motion were that the position y would equal some initial value plus an initial velocity times time plus a one-half a times the acceleration times time squared. I am writing all of this with little subscripts. So this is y, y naught. Notice I'm writing a v, y naught, and a, y. That's because I'm going to talk about two dimensions here momentarily. But in the other uh, equation we had to remember here is that that this uh, velocity in the y direction under uniform acceleration or constant acceleration would grow or decrease linearly with time depending on the sign of that acceleration. If the sign of this acceleration was positive, then the speed vy would continue to increase linearly with time. If the sign of this acceleration was negative, it would decrease linearly with time. In two dimensions, we actually have two components for the velocity, and likewise we have two components for the position. So our equations of motion are v of t is equal to v naught plus a times t and r of t is equal to r naught plus v naught t that's one half a t squared where v, v naught, and a, and r are all vectors. That means that they have a component in the x direction and a component in the y direction. We want to consider a case where the acceleration is a constant. In particular, we're going to be interested in the case of motion in three dimensions. Where we know that gravity points straight down. So the acceleration vector is zero in the x direction, minus g in the y direction, and zero in the z direction. If z is pointing out of the page, x is along the horizontal and y is on the vertical. In this sense, we expect that the x will be a constant and by is constant, excuse me, bz is constant, by should be changing all the time because only by has an acceleration, ay, when we have gravity in the y direction.